transfer of the Israeli government. I'm not going to speak about this exactly. Yeah, hi everyone. It's nice to see all of you here, still present. You're very endurance. Well, the traditional report for the Enoch conferences, in which we speak about the updates as to what's going on in the world of internal governance. The main topic now, of course, is the transfer to, uh, of the surveillance powers from the NTIA to the internet community. So we're going to speak about that. Is there anyone here who is deeply involved in this topic, who, or maybe maybe total amateurs about this? Who knows what's going on about or with the de delegation of powers? Sergey, you know, of course, you know nothing about it. Anyone else knows? Oh, oh fresh, oh, fresh audience. All right. So as of now, what's happening? Why is this process now been ongoing for quite a while? Because it started a year and a half ago. Well. There was, an, there was an, a declaration made by the uh, NTIA, by the U.S. government, saying that, that there is a will to transfer its surveillance uh, powers to the IANA. Uh, this message was, ex was being expected for like the last 20 years, and as soon as this message uh, was articulated, everybody start, started doing s something. And in June 2014, There was a request sent to all the three technical communities that cooperate with IANA in order to ask them to prepare their um, proposals as to how to go on with this in the future after the U U.S. government in the, uh, as represented by NTA, will pass its powers, how the internet governance will be occurring in the future. In the fourth quarter 2014, like a year ago, A special uh, task force was created, which was dealing with the United, with the with the uniform offer from our community, and and the global platform for this discussion was this address, through which all the main uh, online debates used to go through. Following the demands uh, that, were, that were announced, it was S3 by January 15th by, to prepare these three proposals the community of numbers, names, well, numbers we, we are, the community of names, and the community of protocols. All these three communities were supposed to prepare their pro three proposals. Which would then eventually have to would would have to be unif uh, uniformed into one big proposal, to be then sub uh, submitted for consideration into the NTIA, and to the term that was actually announced, we met it together with the protocol community. We met the term. We sent our proposals respectively. By that date, by that required, by the deadline date the community of names uh, didn't prepare its proposal, the domain industry, the domain sector. And the discuss this discussion was taking place globally via this email address, also in other e emailing lists, and via this address so we received 357 unique records, 377 records. The archive of these records is publicly available online at nro.net. You can see the history, how we reached the conclusions that I will talk about later. Essentially, there were no objections, really. The general line essentially was formed almost immediately that the internet community was ready to take upon itself the self-regulatory, the self-regulation issues, and upon main points there were no um, discrepancies, which means that the internet community is is is, is been since for a long time ready. I mean, our at least our numbers community has been ready to take un under its own control the issue of self-regulation. Since there were several versions of uh, our proposal, each of them was uh, s sent uh, via this global mailing list. It was available on nro.net. 
and it also was a, played a coordinating role in this process. Um, special amenities places were created in each of the regions. There are five RIRs, as you know. Uh, hence, each of the RIRs, as it could, as far as it could, was spreading information about this negotiations, and as I said, the feedback was quite serious. And as I said, by January 15th, 2015, we, within our community, uh, finalized the process. We reached the end uh, of the process um, in the kind of full uniformity, uniformity, so how it looked like uh, on the graph. On the left side, there were five RIRs that were, that were dealing with this uh, formation of this consolidated proposal from the community of numbers. Each of the five RIRs performed its respective work in, in this region and then uh, we formulated the single uh, proposal which was sent by January 15th to the ICG, to the coordinating team under ICANN, which was and is dealing with the collecting and consolidation of all three proposals. As I said, the community of protocol in the as, as, a, as a re represented by IETF did its work and also managed to meet the deadline of the January 15th. The names uh, community is the top CWG. You see the arrow is not straight and it's going off the deadline because they were preparing their proposal for, for a very long time and the reasons now doesn't make to be, doesn't doesn't make sense to speak of the reasons. But now the proposal is finished, and as of now, all three proposals, as it was initially planned, are now um, have been uh, have been sent to the coordination uh, group under ICANN, which deals with the consolidation of all the three proposals into a single proposal. We are now in October 15th part at the Enoch 10 conference, and following this logics. All of this must somehow be transferred to the NTIA when ICG will stop, will finalize its consolidational uh, part. What's the essence of our proposal and how will it affect you potentially? Since you are dealing with this uh, sector, nothing revolutionary. We are interested in the stability and reliability of the INF functions. Therefore, we believe that ICANN should continue rolling the uh, role of the IN operator in terms of uh, internet num numbers. Nevertheless, we foresee the poss possibility of transferring these powers to some other operator who maybe could be selected, elec elected in the future, but now we think that we shouldn't be repairing what's not broken. Our proposal uh, says that the role of the NTIA, the American government, uh, American agency basically should be replaced by RIRs. I mean, I mean us, five regional internet registries, and representatives of the community, which is which are you. It means that if before the contract with the operator, with the ICANN, was signed between the NTIA and ICANN, between the U.S. government and the operator, now following the new rules under our proposal, this contract will be s signed between the RIRs and, res and, the res and operators respectively. Initially we plan that this will be ICANN. Also a very important part of our proposal is the creation of a surveillance committee. This surveillance committee will be formed from the experts of the technical community. Well, generally speaking, these these are all of those who are present here can consider themselves in the as experts of technical community and the point of the the sense of the uh, surveillance committee is the assessment of the work of the operator as to how well the the INA functions are performed and on the graph on the chart to visualize this on the top part, you can see what's happening right now. The NTIA signs a contract with ICANN, and ICANN performs the functions of the IANA, and that's all. And further, we replace the left part 
instead of NTIA, we, we're now we're going to have five RIRs. They are, they receive good recommendations from the surveillance committee, which includes the uh, experts from all the communities. So they contact the center they can, and they can keep on performing their inner functions. I would like to stress that for your operational activities, nothing will change. You will continue to work, and we will continue working in the, in the same manner as we used to before. So the agreements about the level of the service provision, the, the, the very contract to be signed between the RIRs and ICANN, well, basically it's um, it's it's based on the contract which is now exi which now exists between NTIA and ICANN, and its first draft was published on May f last spring, on May first, 2015. After th since since then, we've collected feedbacks and prepared the second draft. Uh, the history of this process is, uh, is available on this address. Uh, you don't need to write down. Uh, you can download the P PPT and then uh, go to this webpage. And the current version of the draft will be discussed in several uh, days in the I at the ICANN conference in Dublin, because obviously this process is not uh, unilateral because it's a bilateral contract. So uh, this second, the second uh, side, ICANN, should also agree upon the text of this and the template of this contract and they haven't researched this thing yet since in the SLA there's nothing uh, s extraordinary so we think we hope that this process will somehow pass the content of this very contract everything is quite logical simple and understandable It'll, there will be a list of services mentioned that could be granted the reporting accountability, the uninterrupted manner of providing services. We also foresaw the, the conditions for breaking the contract, the assessment of the level of the services granted and the appeals. Also another principal issue is the breaking of the contract since we will be in charge of this process. Uh, so we are, are the surveillance committee if uh, we believe that the operator is not coping with his functions, then this would mean that there should be a mechanism, some legal mechanisms, in, which would regulate what to do in such cases and how to terminate the contract and conclude the contract with an operator who would be able to cope with its functions. Well, again, the surveillance committee, its main function is to counsel RIRs on the issues that are mentioned in the contract. It will, it, will, it will consist of the technical experts of the community from each of the RIRs. Uh, for each of the RIRs will submit three ac technical experts and the selection in each of the regions will, go, will follow its own regulations. In our region we have already f invented these rules for selection of technical experts. What's next? What are the next steps on the way to this bright future? The most complicated part now is the creation of the consolidated proposal from all three communities, as I had mentioned. Now the coordinational team under ICANN is working on the second draft of this uniform uh, proposal, consolidated, pro consolidated proposal. As soon as all of this is ready, the document will be passed to the NTIA, to the US government, for scrutiny. So this government shall look at it, say that all the principles and rules were met, there is a consensus within the community, and the internet is ready to, to be self-regulated so we could release it. There's, a, there's one obstacle here that we'll, that we'll mention later, the drafting of the very contract. As I said, the contract has been developed by us already. Mm, it's, it, it's passed through several stages of reflecting your opinions. And in several days, it will be discussed in Dublin in, at the ICANN conference. It's hard to say how much time this process will take, but everybody understands that the faster it can be finished, uh, the better for everyone it will be. Uh, as regards the surveillance committee, I've mentioned everything uh, already. Our community has decided that we can appoint these three technical experts and select them from the from Enron Number Council. And Dmitri, Dmitri, wave your hand. He's a member of the NRNC. He'll finish his uh, tenure in December this year. 
now the elections uh, are planned for the new for the new rep representative for our region so there will be uh, one vacancy and you can ask him if he wants how hard this work is to work on this honorary position but anyway now there are three uh, persons who are representatives of the ripe region at the NRO and these three persons they will essentially following our opinion and this opinion was supported in the emailing list should become those representatives of our region in the review committee in the, su the surveillance, surveillance review committee so I can conference in Dublin to take place in several days another milestone the SLA will be uh, considered there with the review committee everything is clear but as to the consolidated, consolidated proposal there are certain mm, problems and that's why uh, I mentioned the potential risks on the web page the first potential risk is the time frame probably as you know the contract that they can mm, was finished in, last, in the last month but it was prolonged for one year with potential prolongation even more, even further. It, this has certain time-based risks, including political risks, since in the US there is an opinion, there is an idea that, that such a tasty uh, chunk of powers is given away. Uh, but since on the, but on the, even though on the other side these powers are not that significant, but as a political fish, Mm, this is used anyway. And the reconciliation of the accountability rules of the ACAN is also not going easily and smoothly. In the case with us, with the number commu numbers community, we've got five regional internet registries, which are essentially our administrators and the points for developing uh, of policies and regulations in our sector. In case with the community uh, of the names, I can is uh, at the same time both the legislative and the executive uh, body. It means that for them, the uh, accountability issue is more important, and they included the necessity to draft the new accountability rules of, for I can into their proposal, the very proposal that they just recently introduced. What does this mean for us in practice? It means that if we can't develop a, this, the, these exact new rules, and of course there are pro troubles there, then it means that the others are like kept, will be kept hostages of the situation and the process can go automatically on. Yes, maybe there are proposals, maybe they're consolidated and not contradictory, but uh, nevertheless, uh, before there is no we don't finish this ICANN accountability section, we can move on and the last risk that we must reconcile SLA with ICANN, we will start on this with this very soon and this is probably all from my side for today if, if you have any questions, I'm ready Sergei, you, don't, you know nothing about this this is, exact, this is exactly why I'm asking questions In September, the contract with ICANN was resigned. You live in Russia. You f well, you are following the situation via Russian media. I instantaneously saw uh, remarks in Russian media that this prolong this prolongation of the contract speaks for the weakness of the system, of the excessive influence of the U.S. on the internet internet governance, on the entire process of internet governance which in this part shows the aspirations of the US to halt the transfer of powers and if I remember everything correctly as a separate point in such articles one raises the issue of maybe we should think about the mm, new IT model well firstly as regards that not everybody in uh, the US are supporters to this proposal this is true. It's nice that the not supporters of this proposal are not in the White House. This is the proposal from the current uh, White House administration. Those who do not want this happen, they are the Republicans. 
and of course uh, they will use this issue you know as a point uh, of uh, of as a leverage uh, during the negotiations another thing i can't say that we conditionally speaking didn't meet the uh, time the deadline is the is the was caused by the us it's the it's the us fault it's, it's not that because they, we didn't meet the, the deadlines were not met because one of the tech, technical communities didn't manage to prepare its proposal by the January 15th. This in its uh, part uh, shifted all the other terms and the time frame. The fact that the ICANN will have the promulgation of contract, we knew about this in the beginning of summer when NTIA uh, addressed all the communities uh, saying that France, we obviously will have to in, uh, in the context of not Unfi not finalized uh, consolidated proposal we'll have to, to leave the things the way they are for another year since there's no consolidated offer prepared yet that's why I can't blame anyone here because the technical communities uh, first of all didn't uh, cope with their task this is this the first this is their guild first of all we don't see the ITU model as a potential one I think I asked you that. I, I think I asked you this before, but I remember the answer. Maybe I didn't ask. SLA about which was so much discussed. Isn't this a point of discussion or reconciliation with the U.S. with the governments? No. Directly, no. And the governments are just as not just an, uh, over the governments but with the government that transfers, uh, with the White House, I mean. Now? No. It's discussed with ICANN now. Since it's a contract which will be uh, concluded between us and ICANN. So what you're negotiating with the White House is the agreement, is the consolidated proposal for all three communities. That doesn't include SLA. Well, to a certain extent it is included. But here we are interested in the position of the ICANN firstly, but not the White House, because the because we will submit the consolidated proposal, which in which we'll say that the RIRs conclude such an SLA with the ICANN, with the operator. So the White House will start sc scrutinizing the details of the SLA contract. But well, theoretically, anything can happen. And. Uh, we, we didn't hear, nobody promised to us that we will look at these conditions and we will not look at these clauses. Nobody would all ever give. But given that the SLA is built, the current SLA is built upon the previous acting now uh, SLAs, well, thank you. Some stuff is clearer now. Colleagues, more questions? No questions. Maxim, thank you.